Hi friends, hope you are fine. Today let us understand estrogen receptor signaling mechanisms, direct genomic signaling, the classical pathway, and also the recently discovered non-genomic signaling within 5 to 10 minutes. There is an excellent article on this topic. The link is in the description and also pinned as comments for your reference. As we all know, estrogen is a steroid hormone. So this is a plasma membrane. So estrogen can easily diffuse through this plasma membrane as plasma membrane is also made up of phospholipid. Estrogen receptor, there are two subtypes, alpha and beta. These receptors are bound to heat shock proteins in its inactive state. Step one is ligand binding and detachment of heat shock proteins. So ligand estrogen diffuses through the plasma membrane and binds to the receptor causing the detachment of heat shock protein. Step 2 is dimerization of receptor hormone complex. This receptor hormone complex dimerizes. In step 3, this dimer is translocated to the nucleus. In step 4, this estrogen receptor dimer binds to estrogen response element, a specific conserved DNA sequence close to the promoter. This estrogen receptor dimer can directly bind to estrogen response element in some cases, this estrogen receptor dimer binds to transcription factors like stimulating protein 1, AP1, ATF2, C4, C June, etc. In this case, this dimer is not directly binding to the promoter sequence or estrogen response element. In both the cases, this binding activates the expression of associated genes that is mediated by estrogen or estrogen signaling. So finally causing a cell or response often cell division, cell differentiation, etc. So this is the classical estrogen signaling where estrogen binds to the receptor, detachment of heat shock proteins followed by dimerization and translocation to the nucleus and binding of this dimer to ERE or estrogen response elements that induces transcription of genes controlled by this estrogen finally causing a cellular response or this ER dimer binds to transcription factors thereby inducing activation or transcription of genes finally causing a cellular response and this is a classical pathway. Now the second pathway is called non-genomic signaling. Now we know that there is a receptor called GPER or G protein coupled estrogen receptor that is present on the plasma membrane. Then there are many estrogen receptor alpha and beta variants are also found on the plasma membrane of some cells. This estrogen receptor also interacts with other receptors like tyrosine kinase receptors and ion channels, epidermal growth factor receptor, etc. So binding of this estrogen to this GPER or G protein coupled estrogen receptor that activates this receptor then this ER interacts with other signaling molecules like RAS, SRC, etc. Activation of these signaling molecules lead to the formation of second messengers like CAMP, PI3, etc. Second messengers are signaling molecules that are short-lived. They are produced in elevated levels upon activation that lead to activation of many other proteins. Then this CAMP activates protein kinase A that is involved in phosphorylation of many proteins downstream and finally causing the activation of a transcription factor that causes the transcription of associated genes and finally causing a cellular response. So this pathway can activate pathways like MAP kinase pathway, mitogen activated protein kinase. So this protein can further phosphorylate many other proteins finally causing the phosphorylation or activation of a transcription factor leading to the gene expression and cellular response. It's also involved in activating AKT signaling than CAMP protein kinase A mediated signaling pathways etc. So we have discussed that pathways in our previous videos. You can refer that for more. So this is how non-genomic signaling works. Let me repeat. In non-genomic signaling there are receptors or estrogen receptor variants or GPER present on the cell surface or plasma membrane. Estrogen binds to this receptor causing a conformational change or it can interact with other receptors on the plasma membrane and it can activate signaling molecules like RAS, SRC, etc. leading to the activation or formation of second messengers like CAMP that further activates protein kinase A or 
other kinases like MAP kinase, phosphorylating many proteins downstream, finally activating or phosphorylating a transcription factor that induces the transcription of associated genes leading to a cellular response. Recent studies suggest that this non-genomic signaling and direct genomic signaling, there is a crosstalk that is happening between these two signaling pathways. So this is about the direct genomic signaling and non-genomic signaling mediated by estrogen hormone or estrogen receptor. Hope you understand the pathways. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.